Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about Frankie's Bikini's Glow Tint. Now Frankie's Bikini's is a beachwear company. They sell swimwear, clothes, and they have three beauty products. They have a glow moisturizer, a glow mist, and then the glow tint. So I purchased this product because I'm trying to get ready for summer and find products that I can wear on days when I go kayaking or hiking or to a theme park. Those days where I don't want like a full face of makeup, but I still want a little bit of coverage and a little bit of collar. And so when I found this product, this seemed like a really good fit to what I was looking for. So I'm on the Frankie's Bikini's website and I'm going to read you their description of this product. It says, this ultra nourishing cream blend of natural mineral pigments builds and blends easily to create a naturally flushed glow. Perfect for highlighting, sculpting and warming the cheeks, eyes and lips. Available in our signature shade Sun Baby. It's cruelty free, made in the USA, paraben free, gluten free, no artificial fragrance and sulfate free. So I've worn this several times um, with and without makeup. I've worn it on my eyes, my lips, my cheeks, and I definitely believe that this performs the best on my cheeks as opposed to my eyes and lips. Um, on my eyes, this was very heavy and sticky, and because it's so sheer, but it is buildable, you have to put a few layers on to kind of build up um, collar so you can kind of see, you know, see it on your lids. And I feel like when I put a couple layers on, it immediately just turned very heavy on my lids. It creased within minutes. Um, it felt very sticky and, you know, it just wasn't a good look. Um, literally within two or three minutes, I went back and looked in the mirror and I could see the product collected kind of like in the crease of my eyelids and I didn't like that. It just didn't look very good. Now this didn't happen to me, but I worry that if this got really hot, like if you're outside, you know, doing an activity, if it would melt and run in your eyes because it's made with different oils and stuff like that. Um, and so I just don't know. I don't know if I would trust like wearing this kayaking because you know, you're sweating and stuff like that and there's water. So this does not claim to be water resistant. So I've worn it on my lips several times. Again, you had to kind of build up the layers to get some color payoff. And I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it wears. Um, I feel like the lines on my lips are accentuated and you kind of get that product build up line kind of back here very quickly. It just doesn't perform very well on the lips. And I don't think the wear time on this um, would make me want to choose to wear this over some of my other lip products. Like the wear time is not long enough because I feel like you can only wear this for like 30 minutes and then it doesn't look good. Well, actually, I don't think it looks good at all when you put it on initially even. So I would not recommend to wear this on your lips for those reasons. Now, on my cheeks is where I feel like this product performs the best. Um, I applied it with my fingers. It blended out really easily. It looks very natural. I think it looks really pretty on my skin. But I did notice that when I wore it on top of makeup and on top of a tinted moisturizer, it lasted a lot better and looked a lot better um, than it did when I wore it on bare skin. So the day I wore it on bare skin, I had sunscreen and moisturizer because I wear this every single day. And within like 30 minutes, I feel like you can even see this on my cheeks. <laughs> so I don't know if it had something to do with like the sunscreen, uh, maybe some kind of chemical something happened there and it faded the collar. I'm not sure, but I was inside that day and uh, it wasn't like I was outside sweating or anything. I wasn't. Um, and it just completely faded. But the days that I wore on top of like a tinted moisturizer or a foundation, it lasted a lot longer. You could really see the collar. This does not last as long as like a normal blush. Uh, as far as like the color fading and things like that. Um, this definitely faded way faster than any of those. And I, I think it has to do with just the ingredients, the fact that it's all oils and stuff. Um, I think it just broke down a lot faster. That's my opinion. I'm not really sure, but that was just my experience with it. I also want to mention that this is the only shade that they have. I do not think this is a universal shade. I don't think um, people with dark skin tones would be able to wear this. I mean, maybe, obviously I don't know, but I just want to throw that out there that I don't think this is a universal shade. So a few months ago I did a haul and in that haul I bought this um, Cheek Heat Gel Cream Blush from Maybelline. Um, and so when I was doing this video I was thinking, hmm, this uh, kind of reminds me of this. So I tried them out next to each other and hands down this guy performed way better than this one. And I'll tell you why. So this guy over here, he's way more pigmented so you have to use less product. Um, I feel like he performed just as good but better than this guy. And this is $20, actually over $20 less 
than this guy. This guy is like $28 before tax, before shipping, and this guy is six bucks from Walmart. So for me, it's like a no brainer. If someone was like, hey, do you recommend this or this? I would say, oh, this guy, hands down. Just wanted to throw that in there because I feel like if you tried this one out, you would like it a lot better than the glow tint. So I also had another idea while I was getting ready for this video. Um, you know, you could always DIY your own glow tint or your own cream blush. One of the main ingredients in this uh, glow tint is shea butter. So if you just took a powder blush, scrape some of it off into a plate, mix it with shea butter you pretty much have the same thing I mean I don't know how it's gonna perform I've never done it um, there's tons of pins on Pinterest for this type of thing but I was thinking it can't be that hard um, so I actually took some uh, Vaseline and <laughs> did it yesterday just to see like what would happen and honestly I think that looks better than the glow tint so you know you can definitely like make up your own uh, concoction and really customize it with whatever blushes and highlighters and stuff that you have and um, you know kind of be like your own little chemist and that would be kind of fun so yeah I mean definitely look up um, some pins on Pinterest and see like what you can find if that's something you're interested in it would save you a ton of money um, it would help you use up some of the blushes that you already own and I think it'd be fun so I just wanted to share that I thought that was a good idea so overall guys I just really wouldn't recommend this product for all the reasons I've explained in this video I just think that you can get the same effect or even better with less expensive products um, I just don't think it's worth the $28 price tag I don't think it performs well enough to you know tell you to go spend $28 on it so that's my opinion. Um, don't let this deter you from checking out the Frankie's Bikinis website. They have really cute clothes and swimwear. Um, so go check it out. There, there may be something else on there uh, that you find and love. But I just wouldn't recommend the glow tint. Maybe go with something different. <laughs> So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys liked it. It was really fun to do. Um, I like testing out things and giving you my opinion and it's just really fun for me. So if you liked it, if you like this type of video, um, just give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers. So that would mean the world to me. Share it with anyone you think would be interested and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>